hey guys welcome back to my channel so in this video i'll be showing you all how i turn these thrifted stools into these beautiful plant stand now keep watching because i'm gonna go over every detail on how i created these stands and also i'll be going over all of the material that you will need if you want to create these stands as well now to get started i'm actually just getting rid of the cushion on top of this stool and so initially I wanted to save the wood on the stool. However, as I went along, I saw that the one of the stools actually was uh, water damage. And so I had to go in and actually just get rid of the wood altogether. So here you just see me using a hammer and I'm getting rid of the wood on top of the stool, which was pretty easy again, because they were already water damaged. So for the paint, I'm using this Rust-Oleum chalk paint, which I got from Walmart. And I decided to use white because I wanted a very clean look. And to get the paint onto my stool was actually very easy. You just want to ensure that you are uh, using even strokes to cover all of the wood on the stool. And I believe I actually used two coats of this chalk paint. Now for my shelves, I'm going to be using this jute twine and I got this from the dollar store. I believe I use about three packs of this jute twine to do all both of my stools. Now this was probably the most intricate part of creating my uh, stools or uh, plant stands. And it was creating the shelf with this jute twine. Uh, to do this, you want to ensure that you are just wrapping very tight and you are using the jute twine and wrapping it very close because whatever you're going to put on these shelves you want to ensure that it's going to be able to withstand and hold uh, whatever you're going to put on it so again uh, this was probably the most intricate part right here um, you're just seeing me tying the uh, jute twine and you want to ensure that it's very tight and as you can see it's going to be able to withstand just about anything so for the top I got these tops from Michaels and they were also very inexpensive I wanted to go with a square top instead of a round top because I didn't want them to look like stools I wanted to look like a stand or a plant stand um, and so that's why I went with a square top now for the stain I got this from Walmart as well and I'm not sure what color it was um, but I didn't want anything that was too dark now going on it looks pretty dark but afterwards after the stain dries it's not that dark and I actually love the way that the stain came out now I decided to use a brush with putting on my stain and that's because the wood is actually really smooth so it went on pretty smooth without any issues and I just did one coat of the stain. Now for other projects that I've done, I've um, used like a sponge or a piece of cloth to actually stain. But like I said, for this, it was pretty smooth with going on. You just wanna ensure that you are getting every bit of the wood and you're not leaving out any part of it just to ensure that the stain is covering uh, every part of that wood. And also I do want to add that um, I did actually go in and go in with a, a clear stain um, to cover the top when I was done just to you know kind of seal uh that stain in because you're going to be putting things on top and sometimes you know water is going to be there and you don't want anything to damage your wood so after you're done staining the top of your shelf you want to go ahead and now add the base of your shelf on 
and this is very important so here you're just gonna see me do some measurements because I want to ensure that when I place that top on that it is centered and that it's not crooked so I'm just using a piece of chalk here just to make some measurements And I'm actually just gonna use some wood glue to glue the top onto the base. And this wood glue is excellent. Um, so I'm just adding the wood glue on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just place the top on to that base. And then I'm just gonna leave this overnight to dry. So here are the finished look of my plant stand and I am absolutely in love with these plant stand. I've actually had them for a while now and they've held up pretty well. They add not only just a unique look to my home but they're a great place to place my plants on. Guys, I hope this video inspired you to make and create your own unique plant stand and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.